I'm gonna talk quietly because the baby's sleeping and I don't wanna wake her and it's late. Anyways, I'm gonna talk about my first impressions of DaVinci Resolve 15. So I've been using DaVinci Resolve now, um, mainly for color grading. Uh, that was always my, that's how I got into DaVinci Resolve was because of its color grading functions. I used Fusion on and off. Uh, I had all the free copies, I think since like 11, um, 12, 12.5. I use it quite a bit, but I was still using other software as well. I was using Final Cut. Um, I used Premiere quite a bit. Um, I still use Premiere, but it's more at client sessions. So um, I don't use it in my studio anymore. I made the switch over to DaVinci Resolve uh, when 14 came out last year because it had Fairlight. And because I'm a sound guy, um, it just made sense. At that point, I was completely on the DaVinci Resolve wagon. So anyways, here's my thoughts on the new DaVinci. I'm really excited about it. Um, I think most people are that are DaVinci Resolve fans. And the main reason is Fusion. So the way you get into Fusion is you select the clip that you want to add text to or whatever you want to do. Um, click on the Fusion right beside Edit, and boom, that's it. So here you have your node window, and it's kind of cool. They sit you up right away where you have uh, your in and your out. You don't have to crawl the internet to learn how to make a simple text node. Um, they give you templates that you can get going pretty quick. Another neat thing that they introduced is ADR. Uh, so if you do a lot of overdub work, um, you have you can do some uh, dialogue replacement, which is really cool. Another cool feature that they're introducing is a sound library, which is awesome. So now you can use their banks of sounds for video, whatever, it's really cool. I don't have anything loaded, um, but it would be under the sound library section. It also feels like they've worked out a lot of kinks out of the editor too. It seems to be working really well. I haven't come across any major glitches or bugs yet, so um, not too bad for a, a beta release. Another cool feature that they have is stacked timelines. So you can go in there and you can stack multiple timelines that you're working on. Um, you can cut and paste, copy to the other timeline, however you want to work. So I think that's a really cool feature. And if you do a lot of collaboration, that also makes a lot of sense. So somebody can do different things on different timelines. You can take what you want move on, so it's really cool. So anyways, overall, for the 20, 25 minutes that I've spent with DaVinci Resolve 15 so far, I'm really impressed. I know there's gonna be things, it's a beta, so I'm not gonna give this a huge, huge review yet because it's a beta. Um, but the fact that they have a beta this early that you know I can mess around with and see what's coming gets me super excited. Go to the website, um, you can download DaVinci Resolve 15 for free, which is amazing or if you want to buy it, it's like $300 American, which was another big reason that I didn't go with Premiere because I'm sick of subscriptions. So yeah, one price and I paid for 12.5 and I got 14 and now I got 15. So yeah, I'm practically making money. So anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna do more of these videos. I got other videos coming up in the next few weeks. So uh, yeah, like, subscribe, hit that bell if you want or don't, whatever you wanna do, it's all cool.